So what we're doing today in this lab is we have two humans representing our multi-vehicle supervisors, and they'll each end up supervising three aircraft on three separate missions. And on those missions, different things are going to happen to those aircraft, and the human's going to respond to that. The main goal of the simulation today, especially for me as part of the Human Factors team, is to ensure that the operators and the supervisors are able to handle all the work that they have been assigned without any overload resulting in a decrease in performance. We've integrated external data service provider information into our sim, so things like weather, things like external aircraft, bringing that all together to build a picture for a multi-vehicle supervisor to observe what's happening to the aircraft, what challenges they might encounter, allowing them to safely operate the aircraft. We don't have really any precedent today with this kind of a system. So by doing these tests, we're really sort of poking at like a brand new canvas that no one has even looked at. All of these tests, as we start to increase in scope, we throw more and more difficult situations at the system and the supervisor, and we can continuously improve on these designs and processes. So this is an enduring capability that we've established. It's something that is going to be a building block for a lot of our technology maturation efforts and concept maturation efforts over the next couple of years. Testing like this really enables the future of autonomy here at WISC. It allows us to prove that we can have an autonomous aircraft flying in integrative airspace over a real U.S. city. This really helps refine our comps and will ultimately lead to a very safe aircraft and very safe passenger experience for you when you fly on it.